Maggie Biscuit. And yep. give him dignity, and unless one of you has the will to deny that I'm your better, I suggest you start learning. We'll have you in proper trousers by the morrow. He's so posh it hurts. Oh god, I love you. Sir, your arrogance is astounding. We are a cultured people. Oh, uh, what's that? Someone's stepping to the fore. Let's have a look at you. God, I love you. Ah, you look quick with your fists, but I'll wager your head falls behind. Too much Oy. time slapping each other, and not enough time strapped to a desk in a decent classroom. Hey, I was told by Master Lee, I'll fuck you the up. The simple truth is that I have bested every one of you who has come forward, whether in tests of wit or combat. You faced a champion of king and country. You have a gun. We have I'm fists. I'm asked to land here, but if a storm is going to cast my ship into the very heart of such a dark empire, I'll bring the light of knowledge wherever I can. <laughs> you must uh. hunger for guidance. You're like children. I mean, only a handful of you could even grow a decent moustache. What kind of place is this? Oh, he's insulting the facial hair. It is on. You blind yourself with prejudice. I can prove you wrong. Can you now? Shall we put that to a test? We I shall. the chance that you might impress me with a glimmer of intelligent insight. But I will acknowledge that I am likely to disagree just because I know you are, uh, lacking. We will need educated men to judge the merits of our arguments. Yep. We're going to have an argument. We're going to have a debate, pretty much. Arguments? What kind of contest are you looking for? I've gone to great pains to learn your barbaric tongue, only to find that none of you has much to say. Can you convince me otherwise? Of course. I've heard a distinct lack of couplets and quatrains to say nothing of pentameters. Is it any wonder you people live as you do? I charge you with defending the heart of your people. If a group of judges determines that you have adequately done so, I will declare you the winner. Shouldn't they declare me the winner? Very well. I agree to this. Who shall judge? Uh, whoever you wish. These five standing here. I'm sure there will be a balance of opinion. The test must be fair. Oh my god, I saw through the back of his head. Clipping issues Come for the win. On, talk to them all to prove I haven't coerced them. We'll begin the debate when you're ready. Let's then do we'll this. Fair in combat. Doubt you'll do very well. Like the rest, you're all just too damn skinny. You use the exact same character model. I don't care if you are John Cleese. Actually, I do. I love you. Make love to me! I heard you accept the Outlander's challenge. I'm grateful you have seen fit to defend us all. Of course, I shall def- I would be honored to sit in judgment of the debate. Several of my fellow scholars have also volunteered. Awesome. I ain't, but I don't think I can win. I mean, Sir Roderick Vaunt's Ponce Fondlebottom, the Magnificent Bastard. That's the best name ever. I trust you will judge fairly. To do otherwise would only help the Outlander win in the long run. True. If he wants a true debate, we will allow it to progress fairly. Of course, I doubt his arguments will have the weight that he expects. Not here in the heart of the Jade Empire. It'd be cool if he could go to his country and prove how big of a douche he is. I love him. What kind of arguments do you favor? I am ill equipped to see my own faults, but I, like my fellow scholars, am adept at exploiting the weaknesses of others. Ooh, very nice, very deceitful. Scholars I like Heng it. and Zhao are easily swayed with simple facts. Cite such details, and they are certain to change their opinion either for or against. What strategy should I take? The best course is to appeal to the individual preferences of the judges. We are. Theoretical thinkers, really. It is not so much the subject, but the tactic that triggers reaction. Each judge will respond only to argument styles they favor. Makes sense. If a judge likes fact, use it once and he will join your side. Use it again and he will switch back just to further debate. So it's like a Other puzzle, arguments then. arguments may not interest him at all. I'm ready for the debate. Goodbye. I wish you luck. I look forward to your defense of the Empire. Indeed. I'm not even going to bother talking to the rest of them, because I think I remember how to do this the right way. We're going to save just in case. Yes, I will reload if I don't do it right. But his vo John Cleese's voice is so awesome, it doesn't matter. 
Sir well, Roderick. Ready to set the ponies in motion, are we? Let's declare some rules and get My started. little you pony. Don't mind if I make this interesting, do you? I used to wonder what friendship could be, my little pony. I will abide by whatever requirement you set. Good. Don't want to set you off your game, but I thought we should ensure that the process was more entertaining than a simple checklist of virtue. It will be a simple matter. Five judges, six topics. I'll pose my argument about why your foolish land stumbles like a child, and you try to answer. Seems simple enough. The judges will raise their arms to indicate whom they favor. Arms up for you, arms down for me. After six topics, if you have a majority, you are the winner. So I have to get at least By three, the then. Queen's corset, if you get them all on your side at any time, I'll declare the match over. Now, shall we proceed? Indeed we shall. I shall endeavor to enlighten you. I will pull no punches, and I expect no mercy on your part. Let's see which of us is truly superior. Come on, then. I'll have your leg! Well, what shall be my first point of contention? I know the most basic of concerns for a culture, the currency of its economy. You're talking about silver? What manner of society would use the silver coin as the basis of trade? Gold is clearly superior, which you admit by using it for important statuary. Your understanding of what determines value is flawed. Your rebuttal? Let's see. Sympathetic, mocking, factual. Scarcity prov proves gold should be reserved for higher purposes. Well, you are clearly in the minority, but I can spare no quarter. To the next topic. Okay, if we use facts again, then they won't be on our side. I call attention to the arrogance of your empire. You simply assume that all arrogance. You're talking about arrogance. Orders are the domain of barbarians and monsters. How could you truly know they are uncivilized until you've proven it by conquest? Crush them beneath your heel. <laughs> so we either just you assume or kill them all? Far-off lands yearn for direction, not unlike what I am attempting with you. Hmm, let me read these. We do not wish to impose ourselves on others. Well, a majority on your side, but the debate is not over yet. No, it's not. Shall I draw attention to your foolish reliance on personal combat? You've got strange dragon powder arms, but you waste them on spectacle and flying chariots. The flyers? Any decently civilized people would have developed a proper array of personal sidearms by now, like old Mirabel here. We'll be hearing about Mirabel later. Hmm. <laughs> You were obviously l hiding a lack of ability elsewhere. Well, a majority on your side, but the debate is not over yet. I challenge your foolish beliefs and the irrational behaviors they produce. Dragons, spirits, and even talk of unresting dead. <laughs> I fucking talk to the undead, Just you look moron. at the collective foolishness that you call a floating palace. The constant superstitious yammering of your peasants even has me seeing it. And how the bloody hell would you get a moat up there? Ridiculous, <laughs> I say. Oh, oh, God, I love this guy. Hmm. See what you want. We know what is real. Well, a majority on your side, but the debate is not over yet. I think two more. I say that you don't seem to understand the relationship between the ruling class and the peasantry. Your commoners are far too happy to be productive. Oh, that's just mean. A proper spiral of misery shows that they are doing a decent day's work. Your peasants nope. only suffer because of foolish superstitions about the dead walking around. Okay, this guy's an ass. <laughs> no boards no more. Ooh, ooh. We don't feel misery is so useful as a tool. Well, you are clear in the minority, but I can spare no quarter. To the next topic. Shit. This will be the final topic. If you don't have a majority at the end of this round, you will have to admit 
But I have outdone you. Okay. It's for all the marbles, Dylan. That's or f f fuck Fallout. All the marbles. Not a decently puffed pair of trousers to be seen. I ask you, what have you done on the pantaloon front? And why do you remain so clean? When any sane man knows, the only way to keep devils of the dark at bay is to be brash and to carry the air of the earth. Bathing is bad for the humors as well. Do you what? people know nothing of maintaining your bile? Is he talking about our immune system? Hmm. Okay, marking. Devils, friends, family. I wager you to keep them all away. Well, it would <gasps> seem that a majority of your fellows have decided your arguments were more persuasive. <laughs> expected no <laughs> yeah, we win. I could not expect a fair contest in the heart of your city. I was a fool to think otherwise. Whatever, I kicked your ass and you know it. I seek satisfaction. You have bested me in debates, but true honor is decided on the dueling field. Damn right. If that is your wish, I will meet you in combat. The entry hall here has walls to be up against, corners to be backed into, and floor enough on which to be down but not out. Whatever your metaphor, I'll beat it. Bring it, bitch. Return to me when you are ready, and we will walk there together, just to ensure that no one gets lost. Or suffers an accident that would prevent a fair fight. Hmm. At least he's Frankly, fair. Frankly, I don't know what you people are capable of. You're about to see the greatest fighter in the Empire show. I am ready now. Let's begin. What? Good. Let's get this over with so I can return to schooling the rest of your fellows. Yeah, he gonna show them what all up, dog. I envy you. You are about to experience for the first time the skill that has forged an empire and traveled the world. <laughs> Let's do this. It will be pain as well, but I imagine it will be almost worth it. No, it'll be more than worth it. Yep, we have to fight him now. He's got a gun that does like a... T His gun, Maribel, does a ton of damage, if I remember right, so... Yeah, gotta watch out for that. See? Oh, see? Look how much damage that does. Switch to the long sword and just damn, I forgot he he's actually kind of tough. Shit. Whoo! Whoo! That was actually kind of tough there at the end. Dang. Yeah, his weapon makes him pretty dangerous. He does a fuck ton of damage with it, as you saw, because it's a fucking gun. Fine display of skill. Whew. Back at you, buddy. Back it at was you. A fair fight, Sir Roderick. Uh, w within the rules you specified. Yes, old boy, you've got it right. I was really sat down, I believe. Like the fall of the old bridge across the Grand. My humors are in disarray, I tell you. I suppose I should have seen it coming. Your win in the debate was a sure sign. I do believe I have underestimated the lot of you. Told you so. Regardless, you have beaten me. That's a point of honor I cannot deny. At least he's honorable about it. It was not your day. Well, there's no other thing for it. Intended or not, you've earned a reward from me. The unsuccessful combatant in a duel must arrange a worthy gift for the victor. I wouldn't be much of an ambassador for my country if I didn't abide by its customs. The yep. Duchess of Almsbottom's rules of engagement <laughs> are quite clear on this matter. Almsbottom. I prefer something useful. Your weapon, for example. Mirabel. We get his gun. Treat her well. She's a finicky lady. We have a gat now. Right. Percival, fluff my traveling trousers. We will darken this garden no more. Yep. Oh, oh, wow, we're still heavily damaged from that, but I think there's a chi shrine around here, so, yeah, whatever. Right, I think that yeah, will end it for now. Um, 
I had a good session. Next time, I'll make sure to uh, we'll finish up the arena, talk to some more people, all that good stuff. Right. Um, I've been that Fallout 3 guy. This has been my future booty call. And I shall see you next time on the magical mystery tour of Let's Play Jade Empire. Good fight and good night, good people.